Hey there, this is Daryl Ballard, and in this video today, we're going to talk about how you can put great looking text into your videos in iMovie. So if you're watching this video, I imagine you were searching for something like that. You're definitely in the right place. That's what we're gonna talk about. Now, on my channel, we're always posting content on how you can escape the treadmill of the J-O-B with a successful online business. So if that's something you're interested in doing, who isn't, right? Definitely consider subscribing to my channel. And I also have a four-day course on how to have a successful online business, a successful six-figure online business, and that's the first link below. You can click on that at any time during the video if you're interested in that. So let's get started talking about how we can get great looking text into our videos in iMovie. And we're gonna use another piece of software, another app that we find on our phone already. So think free uh, or on our, any other iOS device, we're gonna be using Keynote to do that, which gives us much more control of our text. And one added bonus, if you stick around till near the end of the video, we're gonna show not only how to put text, but how to put graphics into our video. Okay, so we're gonna start with an over-the-shoulder look as I actually do this on my iPhone or other iOS device. Okay, well, let's get started with that right now. So I'm doing this on my iPad. Uh, and the reason for that is if you do it on the iPhone, you can only capture the screen in the portrait format. You can't do it in the landscape, which wouldn't make for a video that you could see really easily. So that's why I'm doing that. But understand you can do this on your phone just as well. Some of the buttons that I'm going to tap on may be in slightly different places, but they're going to look the same. You can certainly do it on your phone so that you can do this anywhere. You don't have to be carrying around a big iPad. You can do it right on your iPhone. All right, so now we're going to be making our images, our text in Keynote. Keynote is the present soft presentation software in iOS. Okay, so we're going to click here on Keynote and we're going to create a new presentation. I'm just going to use, I use the wide because that fits the video better and just use a white presentation. All right, and one of the reasons why we're using Keynote to do this, because you can actually put some text and things like that in your uh, videos in iMovie, but you have very little control over where it goes and what the text looks like. You don't have too many choices as far as font, size and color are quite limited. Um, so this is the reason we're doing it in Keynote. It's very simple to do it in Keynote and it's something that's already included on your iPhone or iOS device. So effectively it's free once you have the iPhone. All right, let's just eliminate this um, second box here. I'm going to delete that. And this top one, let's move it so that we're about in the middle because where I'm going to put my text is in the middle vertically and horizontally I'm going to put it clear over to the left. So let's Type in our text. Uh, let's put the first text. All right, and let's select all of that. And we're going to go up here and hit the paintbrush in the upper right because we're going to change some of the formatting of it. I'm not going to worry about the font, but understand you've got all sorts of fonts that you can look at here. In fact, let me click on that just so that I can show you all the fonts you have. We're going to leave it the same just for demonstration. Not hard to uh, uh, change the font if you want to do that. Bold, italicize, anything you can do there. 
I want to left justify that. I want that over by the on the left hand side. In fact, uh, before I do that, let's change the size of it so that I don't have to reselect it. I'm going to take this down to about 80. Uh, you'll probably want the text to be somewhere in that range, 60 to 80. I'm going to leave it large just for. Uh, depends on the size that you have. This would be easy to read. I think 60 would be okay too. You go much smaller than that. And you may not be able to see it very well on your video. And then I think this is pure black and I want to change from that. I'm going to do a fairly dark gray and I'll show you why that is here in a minute. I'm going to choose this gray here. Um, okay, so there's our color and our size taken care of. And then I think I'll select away from that and then select the box again and move it even over a little closer. Okay, so we're, the box isn't going to show when you do this, but uh, we're basically in the middle up and down and clear over to the left, right to left, left to right. Okay, so that's our first slide. One more thing we're going to do to it. We're going to select the background, which is just tapping outside the uh, the boxes and, and the text and you see background shows up here on the upper right and we're going to choose we don't want it to be any color we want it to be transparent so we're going to choose no fill and this is the reason we made the text gray here and that's because if we had left it completely black you wouldn't even be able to see where the text was but I would be generally putting it on a light background, so I want dark text. Now, that looks really light there, but when you put that on a light background, that's going to basically look like black text, and you can still see it in the so-called transparent background. Okay, now you could make a um, another slide by clicking the plus button down here in the lower left, but since we've got everything set up the way we want it, Let's just copy and paste and make a couple more slides. So we tap on that slide. And copy. And then tap on it again and paste. And it'll put it down below. So now we're on our second slide. You see it highlighted there. Let's call this the second text. Now you can't just put anything in there and then edit it when you get into your video. These are going to be images, so you can't change them afterwards without coming back here and changing it. Which you may need to do, and that's simple, but understand you need to put what you want in here because you can't edit that directly in the video. Okay, so let's just do it one more time. This our third text, whatever that is. And then actually, let's make one more. We're going to do something completely different with this one now. And in fact, we're going to select all the text and we're going to delete it. And we're going to put an image up here. So if you go to the upper right, and click on the plus button and then choose photo or video we're going to choose an image now this again has to be an image that you already have in your photos or photo albums and let's get rid of our keyboard here I'm going to go to shared photo album and I'm going to use this second um, image now make sure if you're using images and I'll cover this again in just a minute. Make sure you're using images that are uh, okay to use, that you don't have to pay for. Um, because if you're putting these things on YouTube, it's going to be a problem. If it's not an image that is free, they will find it and possibly close down your channel or at least give you strikes, warn you. Okay, so I put that maybe a little too far, clear over to the left, made it smaller so it doesn't completely dominate uh, my video. And all of that's transparent. 
including the background. So if you go to the presentation, this is what it's going to look like. All right, so now we know how to put an image in there. We know how to put text in there. We know how to change the font, the size, all of the things that you would want to make great looking texts. There are even ways to do animations in Keynote. We're not gonna go over that in this video, and I'm not sure it's necessary if you're doing um, instructional type videos like I do. Uh, some of that fancy stuff is just going to be distracting, but there are ways that you can do that if you want to add some even more interest to your video. So now we need to export these. We're going to tap on in the extreme upper right here. We're going to tap on those three dots and that second one down you see the export button. Tap on that and we want to export to images. So next to the bottom there, export to images. Now, if you have taken this from a uh, bigger presentation and just copied three or four slides or exported three or four slides, you can choose which slides you want to export. We made this entire presentation, uh, so we're gonna export all of them, but you can choose which slides here if you want to and then go back and only do two through four. I'm gonna change that back to one because we want to do all of them, okay? You want it to be a PNG. A JPEG file will not have a transparent background that doesn't work with, with JPEGs, okay? So you want it to be a PNG, get to that point, get everything selected right, uh, and then click on export and then scroll over here save for images okay so my images are now saved and we can find them in our in our images so we're going to click on images and there they are right down here now this looks like a black background with some text on it, but the only thing that is uh, not transparent on this is the text, or when we get to the third one, the fourth one, I should say, get to the image, the graphic there. So if you were to take this into your video now, which we're not gonna go over today, um, as I mentioned, we've got the video on putting uh, images into your your video uh, in iMovie and uh, I'll link that below the second link below will be that video in case you need to go back and refresh your memory on these now these are transparent images we showed you how to do that but um, it's the fourth choice down when you select images to put an image in it's the blue green screen one it's not the cutaway image so that when you put this on your video, all you're gonna see on the video itself, you're gonna see the rest of the video, but you're gonna see this text or this graphic when you load those in there. Okay, so that's the process of making nice looking text and putting it anywhere in the video you want using Keynote. So I wanted to re-emphasize the um, using images that are okay to use. So if you go to Google Images, now there are other places you can get images that are safe, like Pixabay is one that comes to mind. But if you go to Google Images, they're not all okay, but you can find ones that are. Select Tools up at the top, and then choose Labeled for Reuse. If you do that, those images are specifically okay for you to use. Okay, but definitely make sure they are because you can get yourself in lots of trouble including financial trouble, but more, more than likely it could even be losing your channel or uh, at least losing it for a while. So with that warning, definitely be careful with that. Okay, so what'd you think? Is that helpful? If it is, if you've liked the video, definitely give me some thumbs up. Um, give me some comments below what you think. Or if you know of somebody that that can help, definitely, that this video could help, definitely share it with them. 
Also consider subscribing to my channel. You know, we're posting comment all the time about how to escape the rat race of the J-O-B and, and do that with a successful online business. And don't forget that first link below is the um, four day free course that you can get to help establish your own successful six figure online business. Okay, hope you've enjoyed the video. This is Daryl Ballard and we'll see you in the next video.